Hi, welcome to Get Simplifies. I'm Vanessa Hayes. You know, a couple weeks ago, I talked about one of the key principles in organizing, and that was to sort like items with like items. So whether you are organizing a new space or trying to edit some of your items, you want to put like items together so you know how much you have, and then you want to keep those items together once you go to store and assign a home, which is what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about another principle of organizing, and that is assigning a home for your things. And the whole point of assigning a home is to put it in logical spaces so that you can find the items that you need when you need it without wasting any time. Okay, but there's some things that you want to keep in mind when you are assigning homes. And some of them seem kind of obvious, like one, put things where you use them. So for example, the kitchen, you want to keep all your kitchen items in the kitchen. If you can help it, try it to store them in other areas of the home. You want to keep the items that you use where you use them, okay? The second thing you want to keep in mind is think about establishing zones. And you can do this in any area of your home, in any space, in any room. Um, like in the office, in the home office, you can establish like the printing zone, the paper zone. You can have your office supply zone. You can have your communication zone, stuff like that. You could do that in the kitchen, the bathroom, your bedrooms as well. And what I mean by that is like if you think about like a kindergarten classroom or a preschool classroom, they all have their zones. They have a reading zone. They have a craft zone. They have their uh, snack zone, they have their potty zone, all that stuff. So kind of think like that and, and set up your, your spaces the same way. And I'm going to show you my kitchen in just a minute here on how I set up zones and stuff. And the other thing that you want to think about when you are assigning homes is that you want to keep your frequently used items within hand's reach. You want to make those items more convenient to get to. And your less frequently used items up high or down low or tucked back in a cabinet that are, where it's a little bit more difficult to get to, but you don't need them as often. So the whole thing is that anything within arm's reach is prime real estate and you want to use that for your more frequently used items. So let me show you how I've done my kitchen real quick. <laughs> now it's a small kitchen, I don't have a whole lot in here, but I've created zones which makes it easy for us to get what we need when we need it without wasting time. I have my hot beverage zone which is my coffee and my teas, but I have everything I need here. I've got my sugar, I've got my coffee, I've got my coffee maker and coffee mugs, everything I need to make my coffee and tea is all right here. Um, I also have my serving zone, so my dishes that I need to, to serve my food on is right next to my silverware too in this drawer here. So as we're prepared for dinner, we can grab our silverware, grab our bowls and plates and put them on the table. I also have a cooking zone, which is right here, of course, above the stove where I'm going to do most of my cooking. I've got my cookbooks, I've got some bulk spices up here, I've got my cooking utensils here, of course the stove, um, and then I've got my pots and pans all right next to the, the stove. So as I'm cooking, everything is easy to get to. And of course I also have my spices over here in this other cabinet. And then I've also created a baking zone. Now my baking zone, I don't know if you can see this here, is that I've got all my baking ingredients up here, and then I've got my, some of my mixing bowls and stuff over here, and then I also have all my baking utensils, like my, cu my measuring cups, my measuring spoons, spatulas, all that stuff. So as you can see, I've just created simple zones, kept all those like items together in those zones, and I've kept things I need more frequently with an arm's reach, like my utensils, my spices, as I'm cooking. So, so when you're assigning a home, you want to keep all those things in mind. Okay? So the next step we're going to talk about as far as another principle of organizing is how to contain some of your items. Now for more tips on how to simplify and organize your life, visit us at GetSimplifies.com. Thanks for joining me today.